This is. <laughs> oh, this is. This is. I hate this. I hate this, but okay. Yo. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pick it back up. Oh, that's way easier than I expected. That is so easy. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kay from the future. I wanted to let you guys know before we continue with the video that I'm hosting an event June 18th, this Sunday. So follow me on Instagram at amk and location is gonna be at PDM Brands Shop at 1 p.m. So follow me on Instagram, stay up to date, and I'm revealing my biggest, craziest, bike up to date my ultimate dream bike so i'm very excited i want to see everyone there so yeah hope to see you all and back to the video And we are live. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Back with another exciting video. I am currently, if you guys can't tell, at Impact Tech. If you guys are not familiar with Impact Tech, they're pretty much the leading brand when it comes to protecting your motorcycle when you're doing stunts. I've teased a little bit in the previous uh, videos that I might be getting into, you know, doing a stunt build or a track build or something like that. If I'm doing a stunt build, <laughs> it's going to be in collaboration with Impact Tech and I'm very excited for it. So let me show you around their shop and everything. You can see right here, this is a proper stunt build. There's a lot that goes into these builds. It's not just, you know, putting the cages and stuff like that, but it's a full crazy build. They make those. And I mean, look at this thing. It just blends in perfectly with the bike. And this is what you not want, but need when you're even trying like to wheelie and learn and stuff like that. This protects your bike in all ways possible. They have like tons of experience. I've been in the leading the industry for pretty much years. So as you guys can see, everything is like really high quality machine stuff. And yeah, I'll let the professionals tell you more about it. So, and I was still thinking about it. I might do like a Grom to start, you know, practice stuff like that and then maybe hopefully get a ZX6R or something like that or maybe just jump to a ZX6R or just possibly maybe use my Super Duke as my sound bike. Now I don't want to be doing like all type of crazy stuff like sitting on the tank and everything like that but I just want to be do like nice clean very controlled wheelies and mainly drift. I love drifting and I think like on bikes it looks absolutely insane so that's definitely that something that I'm interested in so without further ado there's the man himself so, how are you doing brother good, good. awesome so I was here for a little while and we're just talking about like working together and stuff like that and there's a lot that we can do here like this it's unlimited possibilities they can make everything I mean this is his beautiful brand new S1000RR as you guys can see it's not always just for stunt riding. You can get them for protection because like, you know, if you got a new really expensive bike, you want to protect your bike until you get comfortable. Frame sliders do the job if you barely tipped it at like a parking lot or filling gas, something like that. But you guys know it's not really going to save you from much. This is the real stuff. This is what you really need if you really want to protect your prized possession. So. There you go. So it's not only protection for your bike, but for yourself as well, clearly. <laughs> and you can see this is like not your, you know, average cheap material. This is high quality, really strong stuff. I wish you guys can see and feel it in person because then you're going to be like, okay, this is no joke. You know what I mean? So it's always great. And especially when you can match it to your bike and stuff like that, that makes it even better. So we're actually planning or thinking about doing something for the Super Duke if I want to do like crazy stuff without bike, which I feel like I kind of do, but maybe we start on something smaller like you know the groms the zx6s and then kind of work my way up so i don't mess up my twenty five thousand dollar bike so this like the zx6r like this bike here we just retired it from start riding we were starting this bike maybe about like three years and 
look at it. It's like there's no damage on it. Yeah. It's perfect. I'll go ahead and drop her right now. This is. <laughs> this is insane that you can just do that. Yeah, yeah. That shows you. Yeah, I see, because like it kind of hit this and it bounced back onto the cage. <laughs> you guys have it. This this was crazy to me how he just dropped it. I was kind of like, my ref my reflex is like no. <laughs> But it's crazy as you guys see like you know the bike is good this I can't believe that this bike what you said three years Yeah, three years of every day of stunt riding This is crazy. So, what do you guys think? Should I just do this like right away on the Super Duke? Get this and this thing and just have that bike protected and do some crazy stuff with it? Because, I mean, look at this. This doesn't make sense to me, but it's crazy. Like, you guys, the technology and like how strong this thing is that you just literally dropped it. That is insane. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was you full on just <laughs> Let's hope I don't do no pancakes when I start doing this stuff. But if you do, I mean the product will protect that, no problem. Yeah. So I would suggest you get a DSR just because you had one already in the past, you know how two years of riding as the XXR. I mean, they have a, a soft spot in my heart, of course, because I, this is technically like, you know, my first bike. My first bike was a 2018 ZX6R. Technically, I had a Ninja 300, but I've had it for like a week. I didn't know shit about bikes, and I just got it, and I was like, okay, this is not a real bike. I don't want it. After like a week, I got a ZX6R 2018, and I absolutely love that bike. I actually made a few videos in the start of the channel on that bike, and then that's when I upgraded to all the exotics and Supras. But every time I sold it, ever since I sold it, I definitely regretted that decision. I was like, man, I should have kept it and made a stunt bike. So definitely a big option for me to, you know, still get like a probably a 2019, the Nardo Gray one. Yeah, like I love that. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is insane. Look at that massive sprocket. For you, for those of you that don't understand, messing with the sprocket sizing and all that messes with if you get more torque versus more top speed. So as he was saying, because there's a massive sprocket on the rear right here, you get a ton of torque but you don't have top seed which is perfect for stunt riding for all the people that don't know about this stuff so yeah i'm excited like definitely i don't know when but hopefully soon we'll be doing like a proper build something kind of like this maybe not as wild as this but something you know that's good enough for what i want to do which is hold decent wheelies and drift drifting so Here, sit on the tank I don't even know how to start this. How do you want me to sit, like, go like this? <laughs> yeah, I think. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Now, imagine 
holding your clutch in, going full throttle and clutching up and having to use this as your hand brake. What the? up at the air at 12 o'clock. Like, how insane is this that? This is crazy. Just being here is, like, so weird for me. I'm like, how do you... And only having this little lip <laughs> your butt from falling. So yeah, you... this is mad. Like, I can't imagine, like, being up in the air doing that. <laughs> this is weird. It kind of makes me want to ride like this, but I know I'm not nearly skilled enough for that. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's wild. Like, yeah. This is a n next level, yeah. I'm good for an average rider, but this is like the pros, you know what I mean? Like just being up there, I was like, whoa, this feels so weird, but it makes me want to try it now. Yeah, yeah definitely allows you to respect those front riders more, you know? The fact that they're in that position up doing like crazy wheelies and stuff like that, that's insane. Yeah. Do you want, literally just let it go. Okay. Literally just. Oh, this is, this is, I hate this. I hate this, but okay. Yo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick it back up. Oh, that's way easier than I expected. That is so easy. Yeah. When you have a dedicated sun bike for it to drop that many times, versus if you have like a brand new, a brand new Jigster, a brand new R1, you drop it once, nothing's gonna happen. It protects your investment. That's yeah. That was very weird. First time a bike on purpose? Yeah, bro. <laughs> on, on purpose or not, I've never dropped a bike. So besides my actual crash, you don't really drop. Like I've never kind of slipped and dropped. I've slipped a few times, but I'm like. You know, I didn't like drop it. I like muscle through and I brought it back up because you know sometimes there's gravel and you slip. But I've never really dropped a bike, so this was first time. I don't want to experience this ever unless I have these <laughs> protecting parts on it from you guys. You guys know me. I like to lock up my rear sometimes and let it skid a little bit. So I love messing around. So now if I get these cages on the KTM or a ZX6 build, I'll definitely be doing that a lot more. <laughs> All right, let's show them around the shop. orders out so we have two shops so the front shop is a manufacturer shop where everything gets made and then this shop is where all the cages come back once they've been powder coated and then just today like we have maybe about 50 cages going out raw cages all over the country we ship worldwide so wherever you're at either in the united states international uh, a different state it doesn't matter we ship all these have been sold we have the shelves that have been sold and here's kind of like a walkthrough of like our engine so we sell the most cages we're kind of like the industry leader in crash cages, so you won't see any other company have this amount of inventory. And the color selection is insane too. Like, look at this burgundy. I haven't seen this before. This is really cool. Candy red that matches the 2023 ZXSR perfectly. I see. That matches the other colorway of the 2023 ZXSR. So a lot of these colors, they're supposed to match like your OEM colorway. Mhm. Mm yeah, so many. Yeah, so many colors, variations, stuff like that. Yeah, orange yeah. KTM. Perfect. Yeah, that looks just like the frame on my bike. And if I do a ZX6R, I love baby blue and I love Nardo gray. So the bike will be Nardo gray and we'll probably do some sort of like baby blue. Probably more blue than this one, but something like this I think would be really cool on the ZX6. Oh, yeah. That's crazy seeing the Yamaha blue and the Suzuki blue. Like the difference. Yeah. Insane so cool seeing all these colors like this unlimited amount of customization that you can do these are the rear sets and this is how they look raw so raw basically they have no color it's just bare aluminum how they come straight out of the machine and then all of our parts come with that that dowel rim plug out mm -hmm. so it's all replaceable i just kind of feel it and just kind of get a, yeah. a, a grip for the it looks and feels very solid this is crazy what do you guys think so should i do the question to you guys which you guys need to comment should i do like stunt build on the KTM or should I just do a complete ZX6R? I'm still like in, I kind of want to do both eventually. And here is the KTM. Also, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm here and why the KTM is here in the first place is actually, they're going to be decaling this exhaust for me. So as you guys see, I got that C-slip on, but I was like, okay, this is not loud enough. I want it to be loud and you guys can see the cat right here. It is massive and I want it gone. So over here, they're actually going to make me a pipe 
to delete all this so the bike sounds like it should and then when I was looking at the frame right here I was like hmm it actually be really cool if I do like a, a proper stunt cage and something in the rear here all in orange to protect this bike if I want to do hooligan stuff on this bike which I feel like this is what the bike is for so I might be doing that as well but in the future definitely when I want to get really into the stunt bike series I'll probably do you know start practicing on a Grom like that and eventually I do want to do a ZX6R full-on stunt similar to that bike up front right there yeah there's a lot that goes into these builds I, I thought it was way more simple but like if you want to really do this build right that's why I'm like I personally would be struggling if I wanted to do this so I would be working with them and do like this whole crazy build but look at this the fact that your rear brake is here on the left side and he explained it to me like they do that because once your legs are kind of like on these pegs or even like these whatever you know like they're not over there where you can't like control your wheel with the rear brake you can do it with your hand I've actually always like wondered when I saw people do them like when they're sitting on the tank or like even standing back I'm like I thought it's all throttle and I was like man that's back in the day, like, the killers from, like, the East Coast, Yeah. Uh huh. Now it's a lot easier. You have your foot brakes and you can do a lot more tricks. But props like the OG guys, you know, like everybody from the East Coast, like if you don't have a handbrake, like you're an extremely tough to break. Yeah, that's crazy. But I never, like, this would be so weird for me. The fact that this is the clutch and then I have my rear brake right here. It makes me want to, like, mess around with it. <laughs> Kind of feel how you're gonna feel on a bigger bike with less potential of being harmed, right? So when you're up here, you're still playing with the clutch, you're playing with your handbrake, and you're scraping. And if you're coming down, bring it back with the handbrake, you know? Or you can go forward with the handbrake. So this is this is 12 o'clock on a ground, which is really hard to do because of the power. When you have more power, it's easier to 12 o'clock. You guys are putting bikes in positions I've never seen before. This is interesting. <laughs> What do you guys think? Should I do a ground build? <laughs> There's just so many things, you know, if I had unlimited money, I would do all of it. I would do a build on this, and then this, and then a ZX-6R. There's this cool for the entry level, man. Like, these ROMs can get a little craziness for 3500 bucks. Yeah. You put another grand worth of our parts on it, now you have a bike you can stun, you can actually... Yeah, for, a lot of people told me that it's actually, like, really hard to wheelie these because, you know, smaller, like, tire, and also, like, the power, it's a lot, like, rear brake and stuff like that, so... It would be cool to like kind of like, I guess if you master this and it'll be easier kind of like when you move up, right? Technically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, whoever told you that, uh, you probably don't know like the fundamentals of wheeling. Mm -hmm. So with this Grom, like you can wheelie at a mile an hour, you can wheelie at 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. It's just about getting the hang of it. On a big bike, you don't really use your body to leverage the bike. On this one, if you're yeah. like 15, 20, when you're clutching up, you're also moving your weight, like you're picking it up in the front to give it Yeah, a you're like yanking it up. At a low speed, you don't have to. Like, I can be in neutral and just pop the clutch and it can come up and down. Yeah, and yeah. And down. So, it's just, it's just about how you're taught the parts, obviously, on the bike. Uh huh. Like nice. So, yeah. This is great. I mean, I, I wouldn't know. There's too much to get into. You know, it's a whole different world and I definitely want to get involved in it. And, like, you know, practice and become a better rider. And I also want to do a track build at some point. But I think this is a lot like more like basics and a little different you know i've done some track days stuff like that so what do you guys think so far that's what we're going to be doing for the exhaust and we might next time i come here also do like a little cage with this when i get the decatted exhaust put on next time i bring this bike over and then maybe that day we'll do some like presentation and have like some people like professionals like do a little stunt in a closed safe environment and show you guys what they can do and stuff like that and maybe get involved into this world so that'd be definitely really cool but huge shout out to impact tag honestly thank you so much for showing me around and all this info this is again it's a whole new world just like how i show you guys this whole new world or more of motorcycles he's showing me this whole new world of like stunt riding you know i've always seen it but from kind of like afar and stuff like that so to be more involved is definitely like a cool new opening experience and expands what you know about bikes so i really appreciate that i definitely want to get involved because i, I like doing everything that is related to bikes <laughs>